Hey, what's up? I am Sam, and welcome to my Origami Dojo. So today, we're going to be taking a look at making a traditional origami frog. Okay, so let's start with a square of origami paper, white side up, and I'm using a six inch a six inch square, but for your first time, I'd recommend something considerably larger, because this model is a bit complex. So, we'll fold in half, horizontally, and let's unfold and rotate. And we'll take this bottom edge here and fold up to the top edge there. And crease. And we'll turn over. And we're going to fold in half on both diagonals now. So we'll fold this top bottom corner up to the top corner and crease sharply. Then unfold, rotate, and fold this corner, the bottom corner up to the top corner again. And there we go. Now let's unfold, turn over, and we want to push this point in the center down and then bring all three corners down to lie along the bottom corner. And we'll crease sharply, flatten everything. And now what we want to do is take this edge here and make sure the open edge is facing you. We're going to take this edge here and fold it down to lie along that center edge there. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll fold this one down to lie along that edge there. And crease sharply. Then let's unfold, and now what we want to do is take this edge here, open it up, and flatten it down on the creases we've already made. And as you do that, what you need to do is make sure that this middle line here lines up with this line below it here. And we'll crease, and now we're going to take this edge here and fold it into the center. And we'll take this edge here and fold it into the center unfold and now what we want to do is lift up the center point here and bring these two edges in and we want to make sure that they come to a sharp point up at the top here and then once we have that sharp point we can just fold that flap up there and let's fold this flap over and we're going to repeat that on the side here so we'll squash this down and we'll take this edge here, fold it over, fold the other edge into the center as well. Then we'll unfold, we'll lift this flap up here, and push these into the center. And we want to make sure that, they, that each flap goes no further than the middle line there, and they come to a sharp point. And once we have that sharp point, we can just fold them up and flatten. And then let's take this edge here and also fold it over. And we're halfway done with the frog base. So let's just turn over and we'll repeat the process on this side. So we'll take this edge here, fold it down to the middle and crease sharply. And we'll take this edge here and also fold that down to the middle. And crease sharply. Then we'll unfold and we'll open up the one on the left here and then squash it down and then this middle line here should line up with this edge here and then we'll take both edges and fold them into the center and then we'll unfold and we'll lift this flap up here and we'll fold the edges in and again we'll make sure that we get a sharp point at the top and then fold the flap down. And now let's fold over and we'll do that whole process one more time. So we'll open up, squash down, fold both edges into the center, unfold, reverse fold the edges inside, And there we go, our origami frog base is complete. So to turn our frog base into a frog, what we want to do is take one of these flaps here and fold it over. And, and what we want to do is take this edge here and fold it in to lie along the center edge there. And crease, and we'll do the same thing here. Just crease, fold the edge in. And we'll turn over and do the same thing on this side. We'll take this edge here, fold it into the center line. 
And we'll take this edge here and fold that into the center line as well. And once we have that, what we want to do is fold this edge over and then fold another edge over as well. And we'll turn over and do the same thing. We'll fold this edge over to the right and fold another edge over to the right as well. And then we'll just fold the edges in again. And we'll turn over and fold the edges in. And fold the edges in. And once we have all that done, let's take this here and we'll fold one flap over to the right, turn over, and fold another flap to the right. And now let's make our, let's give our frog some arms and legs. So to make the arms, we'll just take one of these flaps here and we'll fold it up. And I like to have it line up with the edges beneath, but of course you can do whatever you want. And then we'll take it and we'll fold it out, and the exact angle doesn't matter. And then we're going to fold it up like so. Then let's unfold everything on that flap and we're going to reverse fold in and out in the existing creases. So we'll push it inside here and then flatten and then we'll take this part right here and we'll push that inside on the crease we've already made and we'll push this part up on the creases we've already made. And that's going to be a little tricky because it's so small. And to keep both arms and legs consistent, what I like to do is turn it over and then fold this flap up here to match the arm here so that, <clears throat> so that everything is symmetric. So we'll just fold that up there and fold it up to match. Then we'll unfold and we'll reverse fold on the existing creases. So we'll fold up inside, <clears throat> flatten. Fold this flap through and flatten. And fold this flap through and flatten. And now let's make the legs. So we'll just fold this out at an angle. And the exact angle, of course, doesn't matter. Then we'll just fold it down and fold it outwards. And once we have that, let's unfold it and we'll reverse fold in the existing creases. So we'll reverse fold it to face outwards, then downwards, and outwards again to make the foot. And then we'll just turn over and repeat that on this side here. So we'll fold outwards to match the first leg. Whoops. And be careful not to fold out too far and rip your paper like I just did right here. Then let's fold down and fold out to match. Then we'll unfold and we'll reverse fold on the existing creases. So we'll reverse fold it out, then reverse fold it down, and reverse fold it out again to make the foot. And once we have that, our frog is almost done. All we need to do is fold one flap over to the right in front, then turn over and fold one flap over to the right behind. Or rather, a bunch of them just to get the leg over. And that is your origami traditional frog. Hey guys, I am Sam, and on a personally, thank you for watching that last tutorial. If you enjoyed it, well, please feel free to subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials listed here. And if you have any ideas for future tutorials, don't hesitate to leave a comment below or send me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I am Sam, and I will see you next Tuesday.